Hi, this is Rob. This is the Wolf Sports G100 Mini Trail Camera. It comes in this box. What do you get in the box? The trail camera itself, the instruction manual, a mounting belt, a wall mount, and three screws for the wall mount. What is not included are the four AA batteries required to power the camera, nor a SD card. This trail camera weighs less than a half a pound. With the four batteries inserted, it weighs just a little over a half a pound. This takes photos or videos, but not both. You have to set it to take photos only or set it to take videos only. The photo resolution you can either set at 2 megapixels or 16 megapixels. The video resolution is 720p only, 720p at 30 frames per second. And the video length is 10 seconds per video only. You cannot adjust the video length in the menu. The description on the Amazon page that states 1080p is not correct for the video. The 1080p refers to the 2 megapixel photo resolution. The 2 megapixel photo resolution is 1920 by 1080. The 16 megapixel photo resolution is 5376 by 3024, but the video resolution is only at 720p. These are the LED lights to illuminate the scene at night when the camera is triggered. This is the camera lens. It is a f.24 lens with a field of view of 70 degrees. This is the central PIR motion sensor that will trigger the camera to start recording. It has a sensing angle of view of 50 degrees. PIR stands for Passive Infrared Sensor. PIR sensors detect emitted infrared energy from animals in the form of heat. It detects a change in temperature from the ambient temperature and it can detect up to about 50 foot range. You cannot set the sensitivity of this PIR sensor. Looking inside, a very small LED screen for setting the menu items. You cannot view photos or videos on this screen like you can on a higher price point trail cameras. This is the battery compartment. There is no battery compartment cover. This camera requires four AA alkaline or lithium batteries. The on, aim, and off switch. Set it to aim to change menu settings. The buttons on the other side of the LED screen are used to navigate the menu. When you are ready to take photos or videos, set it to on. Set it to off when inserting or taking out the batteries or the SD card or when storing the camera. This compartment is empty. These latches help seal the camera shut. This camera is not completely waterproof, thus you cannot put it in a river. But it has a water resistant rating of IP54, which means that it is protected from limited dust ingress and protected from water spray from all directions. So it should hold up well in normal rain or snow, but may not do well in a hurricane. This is where you loop the mounting belt through to mount the camera around a tree. If you have a cable lock, you can run the cable lock through these holes to help prevent somebody from stealing your camera. This is a tripod mount. Another hole to run a cable lock through. Here is where you put a standard size SD card, not included. Here are the four batteries. It is recommended to use Energizer AA lithium batteries to obtain the maximum battery life. Insert the SD card. It uses a standard SD card, class 6 or higher, with a capacity of up to 32 gigabytes. This is a SanDisk Extreme Class 10 32 gigabyte card. When taking photos, you can choose to take one or three photo series. When the camera is triggered, it will take one photo or three photos in a series. You can set an interval time between when a photo series is taken or between when videos are taken. When the animal remains within the camera's sensor range after it is first detected and the camera is triggered, your options are 5 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 3 minutes. You can set a camera ID from 01 to 99. If you have more than one camera, you can give each camera a different camera ID. Then, when you place your cameras, write down where you place camera 1 and where you place camera 2. With a camera ID, it helps you to determine where that photo or video was taken because the camera ID will show on the timestamp of the photo or video. With this trail camera, you do not have the option to turn off the timestamp. On the timestamp is the company name, Wool Sports, then the camera ID, then the date, and the time that the video or photo was taken. You can set the photo resolution. You have a choice between low or high. 
Low photo resolution is 2 megapixels and high photo resolution is 16 megapixels. With video resolution, you do not have a choice. This trail camera only takes video in 720p resolution at 30 frames per second. When the trail camera is ready to go and after you mount it to a tree, move the mode switch to on. The motion indicator light on the front will blink red for about 10 seconds. During this 10 seconds, it should allow you time to close the trail camera's front cover and leave the area. Here is an example video from this trail camera in my house. I was not sure if the camera was recording or not. I could not tell. Each video records for 10 seconds. You cannot adjust that time. In the lower left corner is the timestamp that is automatically placed on every video and photo. At night, the videos and photos will be black and white, and during the day, the videos and photos will be in color. Okay, that is it. I hope that you like this trail camera.